So today we are in Willich in London and we have our rhapsodies because we are ready to evangelize, we are ready to win some souls, impact many people's lives. Um, God, you said God again. You did say God now, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, I didn't quite understand what you guys mean. Uh, there's God and there's Jesus Christ or I don't... Are you saved, sir? Are you born again? Do you know what that means? Yeah. What does it mean? <laughs> I oh, I'm Linda. Nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> We're just going around speaking and talking to people about Jesus Christ. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. That's so beautiful. Trust me, heaven is rejoicing right now just because you gave your life to Christ, because you are that important to God. It's not, it's not, it's like not don't, this don't know anything. I don't know it. Give me time, I'll ask. Yeah, you are not the one who wrote the Bible, so definitely I'll give you time. You guys can text me, okay? You've seen it all, then I'll ask for you guys, okay? Uh, where is your talking? This is the after. But that's what you guys are training, guys. Yeah, you guys, you guys are trying to do, to save me from hell. That's why you guys are here, innit? Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's only the right part. Yes, sir. Ask yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, so that's it. Hey, my love. Sorry. So can I just speak to you for a second? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Are you a Christian? Oh. Do you believe in God? Do you... Kind of. Kind of? What, what do you mean kind of? Yeah. I mean like my dad's a Catholic. Okay. And my mom's my mom side is really like religious, so I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, okay. So if you didn't see it, uh, don't bother yourself. Can I read to you something there? No, no. You can read to me. But okay. Basically, I want to hear that clearly. Well, listen, Jesus loves you. I have to tell you this. Jesus actually loves you. And, you know, when, when you talk to people about Jesus Christ, they just tell you, oh, he has come to save you from, from sin. But he has come to do so much more. You know, like, yes, he came to save you from sin, but it was for an end. What is the end? The end was for you to receive eternal life. It was for you to receive that same life, that same nature of God. You know, so that you can live to your best potential. You can literally live like Jesus. Jesus came to this earth to show us how we should live, how we should have the perfect life, how we should live at our maximum potential, you know. And we can't do that until we receive eternal life, until we receive that same, that same nature of God. <laughs> because this, this is clear. This is clear. I feel like sometimes um, we want it our own way but the bible is clear okay. and and you know let me read to you this and then you can let me know are you born again yeah do you know what that means yeah what does it mean when you um what is it? i don't like to explain it but when you give your life to christian all over again so i'm reading from philippians 2 okay. and i'm reading from verse 9 so it says therefore god exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. No, that's not that at the name, sorry, no, that we don't wait with you. Jesus Christ went. So this is somebody who is telling about Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is where you read it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm saying from Jesus Christ from his word. The red line where you see what Jesus Christ is saying. Yes, he, he said a lot of things. Okay. Don't forget about saying he's God. And they ask him. Uh, they say, Are you God? He said, You said so. What you're reading now is not from Jesus Christ's mouth. Yeah. Okay, I understand what you mean. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So somebody will okay. say one thing and we just say Because Jesus Christ should have said that. Those are the important things you need to say first. Uh, from his word. That's, those are the things very, very important. You guys came to tell us how to leave this world and you don't tell us that you are the God. So someone else will just think that you are God. No, no. We don't think so. You have to say it. If you guys do not say it, don't bother yourself. Don't waste time. There are a lot of people you guys could change their life today. So I'll give you my number. You guys get back to me and... I'd like to see you guys uh, next uh, call. Okay. So did you like did you say a prayer of salvation? Like did you confess that Jesus Christ yeah, is the Lord of your life? Are you about as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you're reading your Bible, yeah. why don't you think that? You know what? I don't read my Bible every day, but <laughs> do you think you want to be like more closer with God? Like, do you know what's your purpose in life? Um, right now, not really because I have a lot going on with my family, mm. and it's just pain. But I give everything to God to help me through it. And I know it's probably not what you want to hear, but that's what he was saying, and I will explain why. No, 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 it's not parable. Okay, cool. I hear you. Uh, if you didn't see it, give me, uh, I'll give my mother. You guys can get to me, you found it. And we've seen it clearly. So, um, I like to, I will do more. Okay. Let people know that I've seen something. Can we? Uh, probably explain to you. Okay, you know, and the beautiful thing is that it's literally so simple, so simple, you know, if you believe in God, if you believe in Jesus Christ, if you believe that he died for you, that he has come to save you from your sin, that he's alive today because he didn't just die, he died that he raised up, that's to show you how great he is you know because he's still alive today and he's living in each and every one of us that we have professed him and we have confessed him as the lord of our life you know like today you are experiencing jesus through me like as i'm speaking to you you're experiencing jesus through me and and jesus wants to use you as well to touch other people's life okay well just no i cannot yeah that's beautiful. Should we pray? I mean, I want to speak to you first. Um, my voice is coming soon. That's why I'm rushing. I'm not. We're not going to take me a planter or something. Or? Um, but we'll, we'll definitely leave you with a rough sea of realities. Okay. And um, it's a devotional, so you have a message for each day of the month. Mm. And, um, you know, you have scriptures to back it up. So that would really help. Um, your spiritual development and you know to get closer to God and to really like live your life to God because as much as it's important yes you read your Bible and and uh, you've given your life to Christ and you know you fellowship with the Holy Spirit you listen to Christian music that's that's beautiful but you know there is also so much more um, to that you know that personal fellowship you know with God is, is really important so yeah, John 8. I'm just gonna go to the point because I know you know the story already. To impact other people's lives, to tell them about him so that they can go to heaven, you know? Yeah. Because if not, <laughs> it's not like there is, there is so much to life than just, you know, going around. Then I guess uh, you go to school, right? Go to school and go home and no there is so much more like there is so much more to just you know uh, someone coming to save you from your sin there is actually a life like this is not all okay I'm, I go to church on Sunday and that's it it's not religion but is it okay if I take your details um, Snapchat okay let me read everything then I'm gonna read from verse 48 all the way down to like 60 or 59 yes John 8 um, then Jesus answered and said to him do we not say rightly that you are Samaritan and have a demon Jesus answered I do not have a demon but I honor my father and you dishonor me and I do not seek my own glory there is one who seeks and judges most assuredly I say to you if anyone keeps my word he shall never be dead he shall never see death then the Jews said to him now we know that you have a demon abraham is dead and the prophet and you say if anyone keeps my word it shall never taste dead are you greater than our father abraham who is dead and the prophets are dead who do you make yourself out to be jesus answered if i honor myself my honor is nothing it is my father who honors me of whom you say that he is your god yet you have not known him but i know him and if I say I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet 50 years old and have 
and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Then they took up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed pass it by. And the reason why I shared this story is because you can tell from the reaction of the people, of the Pharisees, what he was saying because if what if what he said wasn't that deep if what he said wasn't that significant or wasn't that serious they wouldn't have picked up stones you know but the reason why they picked up stone is why because they were following the law and the law you know if you look at the ten commandments he said um you know you shall not um you shall not obey or honor any other god um beside me right so basically they took up the stones because jesus was basically claiming to be God. I won't have to use, don't worry. But, no, um, yeah, like, I'd like to maybe like call you, have a call, yeah. and pray for you so that you can speak in tongues. Oh. Oops, it's not you. No. So you can speak in tongues and have that extra personal fellowship with, with the Holy Spirit. Do you know the importance of speaking in tongues? Um, not really. Actually, it's, it's a nature, there is a way, there is a Christ culture that we have there's a Christ culture that we take on when we give our life to Christ you know and that's the way that's the way to live that's the way that God wants us to live you know and it's so beautiful all right I'll get in contact with you so yeah. we can speak more about yeah. that <sighs> she was in a rush um, but she's born again She's received the Holy Spirit. Um, I could sense that she had a lot going on and she also said that, you know, she had some issues at home and, you know, she had a, she said she had a lot going on. Um, but we took her details. Um, I already told her that I'm definitely gonna message her, contact her, call her up so that we can, I can speak more about the importance of speaking in tongues and why she needs it and, you know, pray for her and pray for, you know, whatever situation she's going through and hopefully she will be more willing to open up and she'll have more time to really understand what we're saying so yeah hi can i just talk to you no problem that's fine i'm gonna talk to this guy hello can i speak to you we have a free gift to give you I sure it's really important. No problem. Good afternoon. We have a free gift to you. Can we just speak to you? We have a free gift for you. Free, free gift. Free gift. Free gift. Yes. This book is a devotional. It's a daily devotional called Rhapsody of Realities. What is this all about? It's about living your life for Christ. Ah. It was beautiful. Um, I mean, a takeaway from this is obviously you always have scriptures to back up. What he was saying was actually right, you know. So many Christians, they preach, but then they don't have the scriptures to back up. So if you go and evangelize, make sure you know the Bible, make sure you read your Bible. That's why it's important for us even to like study every day and know the word for ourselves so that when we go out and preach, we can actually pull out scriptures we can actually show them from the word of god um you know what what jesus has come to do um it was a very interesting <laughs> um evangelism session um praise god like <laughs> oh no no i'm not rounding up <laughs> are you a christian are you a christian exactly, sir but I, I like eternity you like it? That's amazing. Yes, yeah, so then um, Pastor Shex also stepped in and helped us out answering some questions, which was, you know, beautiful. Um, you know, even when he was trying to explain to him that literally Jesus and God was one, like the way he broke it down was so beautiful. And I'm sure he did plant some seed in his heart. Um, not sure he fully understood everything. Like I said, you know, Jesus Christ, he said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Okay, cool. So that means she's saying that I am the. If you, if you want to know what God is like, how He behaves, meet Jesus. 
because he's the expression of the father he's the expression of god because what makes him god is that his life he has the same life as god so it's his life the god life that makes him just like god he has, the, he has the god life and like i said you know like they said he's the child he is the word of god made flesh god and his word are one you can see that you can't separate a man from his words so the word that created the whole world is a person and that person that word became flesh became a human being and we just established that god and his word are one so that means his word is god god the word of god is god now the word of god became flesh in the name of a man named jesus so do you believe in god i i have a question you have just some, you have some questions or oh, why your questions sir well, I'm not 100% positive. How come? Because, because the scientists, mm. people say there is no God. Mm. And we get confused because they are the brainiest people in the world. And he came, the Bible says he's the child of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. So that's why we call him the Son of God. Yeah. And do you know what Son of God means? Son of God actually means God in flesh. It doesn't mean somebody that was born of God. Son of God means God in flesh. But Jesus Christ is God in flesh. Yeah, I, I get that. So then, what I'm saying, yeah. still not, uh, not answering that. Right? About the worship of God, right? Or if, 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 if you want to say, okay, uh, that was not written, mm, we believe that he's God, okay, yeah, accept it. What I'm trying to say, it's, there's no anywhere you guys can find it where yeah. it says, okay, I'm God. His life, sir, was a manifestation of. He said, "Listen, all those that are weary, come unto me, and I will give you rest." No human being can give anybody rest. He says, "Eat of me, for if a man that eats me, the man that drinks for me will never thirst again. The man that eats me will, he will never go hungry." Do you understand? Only God can talk like that. He says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life." No man comes to the Father except through me. You understand? I, I know there's a portion where it says, okay, uh, in the Bible, where it says it does a uh, miracle through God. Not in, in the yeah, he said he doesn't so, do it in the name of the devils. He doesn't, he doesn't do it by the power of Satan. Yeah, he does, by the power of God. Uh, yeah. So, someone who does uh, things with the power of God can do anything, can do anything. Can do what? Can do anything. Can do, can do anything. Yeah, yeah. You can do greater things. You can do it. Yeah, that power of God is powerful, definitely. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? So, what are you saying? Like, maybe uh, it does a, a, a miracle, if not God. That's what I'm saying. It's God. He said it does it by. I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. By, yeah. by the power of God, yeah. By the power of God. And that's more so, evidence to show that He is not a human being. He's beyond just a normal human being. Like, He came. He's divine. But isn't that the you same? Know, Einstein yeah. never said there is a God. Mm. He has always said. Human are always the God, whatever they make them. But not the, the beautiful thing about the word is that the word of God is truth. But what scientists are telling you is just facts. It can change. For example, before we thought the world was flat, and now they're telling you, oh no, sorry, we got it wrong. It's round. Science never said world is flat. People were saying world is world was flat. Not the science. He came from somewhere. Do you understand? Because one thing that he did, for example, his life was a display of the miraculous. Do you understand? And he said, he, he always spoke about the Holy Spirit in him, the Father in him. So, you see, so when his life was a testimony that he was, he was God. Do you understand? He had a God life, sir. You see? And he was sent by God. He said, for God so loved the world of people yeah. that he gave his only begotten son. That's John. So, yeah. No, Jesus said that. Jesus said that. Those are the words of Jesus. Uh, but in John 3 16, God, Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that anybody that believes in him should not perish, but what have everlasting life. Yeah. So Jesus Christ said, Listen, follow me, I'll give you eternal life. Mm. Only God can give the God kind of life. Yeah, you, now you said it. You, you see that? He who follows him. Yeah. Somebody who follows his ways never say he will worship me. No, no. So you need to get that clear. No, so because that's what I'm trying to say. So the what the what what worship is, sir? Somebody who follows him. That's what he said. Yeah. Your English. You understand? You follow. You have to follow the ways. No, I, the, you're right, sir. You're correct. You're Jesus, Je Je Jesus Christ. He people. Yeah. Uh, do you're right, sir. Correct. Jesus Christ. He didn't say 
worship me because Why? we worship God. Mm. You see that? Okay. We worship God. But one thing for sure is that when Mary, when he was resurrected, Mary came and worshipped him. Mm. And he didn't stop her. He, because there's nothing, she didn't do anything wrong. Because he is God. Mm. You understand? So when Mary came and worshipped him, he didn't say no, 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 no. Because no, nah, she caught the revelation that this is the Messiah. This is the anointed one. Later on, the people who has a, some knowledge about the sign, they said the world is not <laughs> Okay, okay, so what, what about this? Um, what do you think about what's going on today? You know, like with the COVID-19? Because how can you trust science after what has been happening today? Sometimes you get diarrhea, sometimes you get it. Cold, sometimes you get uh, other sickness. Mm -hmm. so this COVID-19 is uh, also the very much the same thing like that. Not exactly, very mm. much the same thing like that. You see, what I'm trying to say is this, is that Jesus Christ, his mission on earth was not to people to worship him. His mission on earth was to die for the sins of the world and bring man back into connection of God. So his mission on earth wasn't actually to heal the sick. He didn't come to heal the sick. He came to die on that cross mm. to bring you back into fellowship with God. So now you can know God for yourself and know him as a father, sir. So that's why the God, what, what the message that we're bringing to you today is this, is that God loves you, sir. Okay. And then for you to enjoy fellowship with God now and for eternity, you must receive salvation. Because if not, you're going to have to pay for your that's own good. sins. You see that? And you can't pay for your sins. That's why you go to hell, sir. So, you say just pray, uh, he died for our sins and he's God. Since you are God, why are you dying? Why can't you just because forgive us? Okay, and but... comes yes. and goes. If, yeah. But people, they get scared and they are a uh, little bit careful. That is all. So why, why do you think there is all this imposition with like mask? I mean, if the virus is airborne, why should not we? Born at the moment. They are not <laughs> okay, no, that that's my point. Is that bef at the beginning they said it was airborne. Now they are changing, and that's that's that, right that's the, the point that I was thinking. Right from the government, we are saying to people, it is not airborne. Because because yes. principles are God capacity or anything no, to no, do no. with that. Because blood, sir, blood, 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 blood is the atonement for sin. God, God is a God of principles. Mm -hmm. He puts principles in place. So blood is the blood must be shed to atone for sin. That's why back in the day they used to kill lambs, etc., and oh, sin yeah, offerings. That, yeah. You see that? So Jesus Christ was called the Lamb of God. And that's why he was born of a virgin. Born of a virgin, so he could become a sinless sacrifice. Because sin was passed from Adam from sperm to sperm to sperm. So being born of a virgin, he was sinless and remained sinless to be the perfect sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. So God can't just blood must be shed for sins to be remitted. Okay. Blood is shed. So that's why Jesus, his blood was the purest blood. Did you see that? So that's the answer to your question. That God had his blood had to be shed to wash away the sins of the world. So now you saying you didn't say you should wash it. That's not his mission, sir. That was not his mission. But anybody that knows Jesus. What is his mission? How do you know it? You have to follow uh, like uh, the constitution of the land. Or how, no, the mission. How it works. The mission. So the mission of what? I said we have to follow like the constitution of the land wherever we are. And uh, Jesus Christ, okay. He came to warn us to teach us how we're gonna leave this world. You should have said all this. No, no, he didn't. He, his mission. He, he taught us. Mission. He taught us. He brought in a new. He brought man into a new dimension, and brought a man a new revelation of God. Of which God? That's of the one God, sir. There is one God. There is one God. Yeah, I do believe in uh, Jesus. I don't know about the God, but I do believe. He, you do believe in he Jesus. He had uh, sacrificed his life for the people. I believe in that. And, and he he was a most powerful person mm. on earth at that time. There is one God, 100%. And he came to bring man a great a, a, new, a new dispensation. He, he came to breed a new species of, of beings for the new creations. Okay, so I get you. When he was teaching, he was teaching, he was teaching, he taught the Jews, and then there's many things that came after the Holy Spirit came, you see, but what he came to do was primarily to bring man eternal life, yes. to make man like God, oh. to bring man a different kind of life. Not all what you say, I've heard it. Mm. Uh, I went to missionary school, uh, uh, participated in a lot of Christianity yes, activities, so. so I know all this. But my point, my yes. point, the Jews, they asked Jesus Christ, uh, you say you are God or something, you said you said so. Just by replied that you said so. Uh -huh. 
keep you. Did you? They asked Jesus Christ, are you God or? He asked him, is he the Messiah? Yeah, and he said that he said so. No reply of God. He asked me if he's the if he's the Messiah. You know he said so. Nah, you said so. You telling them. You replied that. No, you said you said that. You said you said that. Um, yeah, you said we better to get a scripture. But from my remembrance, he was saying that. Um, it is you that said so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. He said my works. My works. That means Jesus Christ did not uh like uh. No, he said my works testify. No, no. What he said. He said he said my works testify. My works testify of what you're saying. Uh, he said, my works test okay. clearly show. Okay, that's, 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 Literally, you guys didn't tell us. He didn't say somebody literally. did not tell you who he is. How would he you guys just claim he is? He said, I want to know. He said, said, he, said uh, he, did, he, did, he did testify that he is God yes. when he said that me and my father are one. Mm. No, that one is that one is simple. No, 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 me and my general manager, you're, you're not one, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're one. We work as a team. You're not one, no, sir. They are more superior than me, but he wasn't talking like that. He wasn't talking like that. So it's just because it's the same principle as like when when Jesus said that when you look at when you look at him, you see the father. When you look when when I look at you, I don't see your manager. I see you. So that that's why is is different. Exactly. You know, exactly, sir. <laughs> so, beyond your question, sir. How do you know that my manager and my brother? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, listen, listen. Listen, sir. What the final thing here is this, yeah? Sir, you said you believe in Jesus Christ. So, if you believe in Jesus, then you have to believe in God as well because they are the same. They are the same person. Sorry. Is that. The, main, the, the more important question is this, sir. Yes. Is are you saved? That's the question. It's not about what you said about my God. It's about are you saved? When, 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 when you, when you, for example, when, when you die, where are you going? Are you going to heaven or are you going to hell, sir? Because if you don't, if you don't receive rem remission of sins, you have to go to hell, sir. And the good, but the good news, sir, you don't have to go to hell. You can receive the love of God, receive okay. Christ. What, what, what I'm trying to like, uh. why, why, uh, why emphasize uh, uh, this, this, uh, this particular one? Okay, if you go to put somebody, okay, like, okay, like, I'm gonna use an example, uh, like uh, maybe a bank, maybe I'm, I'm looking for a customer, and then I go to meet people. Then I didn't tell them that they're gonna give you one million the first day, a million pounds. Then they never say it. So it's exactly like what you guys are saying. So I didn't. What my bank told me. That's what I'm gonna tell people. If I put that, if I if I didn't say, if I, how can I say they're gonna give you money when they they hasn't say, oh I just think okay, they, nah, don't worry, they'll give you. Uh, I just think that's what I want to try to know. Has he say okay? Uh, what which is very important. That is the reason why you guys. He are said. Out. He said, sir. He said, sir. Everyone comes to the Father except by Jesus Christ. He said, though, I am the way to God. You see yeah, that, and that's right. more important for you. For you, that's yeah. beautiful. They're the same person. They are one. Uh, Emperor Selassie, he died, and they said uh, he did not die, he disappeared, or something like that. There was one again who says God, police arrest him. So, all those kind of God. things. Police arrest God, and so they we got, we got your number, sir, yeah? <laughs> we got your number, yeah? God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> police arrest God. God bless, God bless, God, bless, kind of God, bless, God, God died. No, it's... We have to go, we have to go. God bless Bro, you, sir. You need to think about this, question, Let me ask you a question. Do you, do you remember anything I said, sir? I remember about my point is that you guys have to like bring. No, no, you don't ask my question. Where? You don't ask my question. You remember anything I said? Okay, let me tell you, I'm telling you one thing. No, no, purpose, you don't ask my question. This, you see this you question I asked you guys? Let's go. That is the purpose why you guys are here. Yeah. <laughs> if you would like to join Believers Love World or pioneer a fellowship at your university, please call the numbers showing on the screen. <laughs>